Hey guys, this is X25, and welcome back to some more Brick Rigs, and today we're going to be checking out some creations, and we're going to, uh, just any creations, it's Star Wars, because why not? Also because there's been quite a few uh, Star Wars relay creations up on the workshop for quite a while now, and I thought I would check them out, but anyways, yes, if you are enjoying Brick Rigs on the channel, if you do want to see more, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Alright. Anyways, yes, this is the X-Wing Starfire, and these are all by the same creator, I think. Wait, hold on, let me read the description here. Because, yeah, Dr Star Wars Rebel OT T-65B X-Wing Starfire. And apparently this is a remastered version because apparently he's made something like this before. Now, uh, <laughs> I didn't read, I didn't read what I had to do. Um... Right, there we go. I think I got. Okay, it uh, looks like the landing gear comes up automatically. Okay, how do you get these into attack mode? Whoa, whoa, okay. These controls are a little bit touchy. Oh, wait, there we go. Attack mode. And I'm pretty sure it has guns too. Yes, it does. That's a intro. Oh, that's cool. It's got an actual uh, a little lever. Although I don't think that's true to the movies, though. I don't think there was a little joystick in the front. Well, I could be wrong. And yeah, of course you also have a little R2 in the back. The little droid. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to take this thing out of god mode. And we're going to just... I don't know. I wish I, I had someone with me so that way we could do, like, dog fights. I might go on multiplayer and, and like, do this stuff. Like, fly these things around. Actually, hold on a second. Where am I? Wait, I know where I am. Oh, I'm falling. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get up, get up, get up. Come on. Alright. Uh oh. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna crash on this thing because I have a dark creation spawned and yeah. That was actually somewhat anti never mind. I was gonna say that was actually somewhat anti climatic, but guess not. <laughs> oh, and of course there's the explosion. Alright, so that's the X-Wing Starfire. Let's, uh, let's move on to the next creation, shall we? Okay, so our next creation is a TIE Fighter, I think. Yeah, I think it's a TIE Fighter. Hold on. Yeah, TIE Advance. It's an X, it's an excellent prototype. Alright, so I'm pretty sure these things control similar. So, yeah. Actually, that looks somewhat smooth. I'm surprised about that. Okay, this thing does want wants to go up a lot, and as always, it does have guns. This would be awesome for dog fights. Hold on. Oh yes, it can do barrel rolls. Awesome. If only it made like the sound that tar that tie fighters make when they fly around. Like you guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah, but this looks more like Darth Vader's tie fire. I'm pretty sure there's a normal tie fire as well. I'm going to need to find that. But yes, hold on. Let's see if it stays true to the movies. Let's see if it explodes nicely. Because, like in, like in the movies, like, literally one explodes every, like, ten seconds. Oh. Okay, that just happened. Oh, apparently it can still fly. Nope, never mind. Okay, now it's just going to pile drive itself in the ground. Okay, yeah, so that's the... That's the TIE Fighter. Hold on. I have, an, I have a way to fix this. Uh, we're just going to do that, and boom! Wait, how did that not? How did that not explode? Hold on. Oh, hold on. Need to reload. Maybe I should got rid of myself. There we go. Stay true to the movies. All right. I'm going to see if I can try and find the uh, the normal tie fire. 
Okay, so, uh, yeah, I was right. There is another TIE Fire. So this is the normal one. Oh, uh, delivery took this pass outside my house. I'm <laughs> because I looked and I see this reflection, and I'm like, wait, what the heck was that? Okay, I feel like that the TIE Fires are a little bit hard to fly just because of their design. Because, like, it, like the, the wings, they are a little bit weird. Which makes sense, because you don't really get enough lift with take... You don't really get this enough takeoff speed in order for it to lift off. But on the other hand, this thing flies surprisingly low. I want to see if it can do barrel rolls. Although it doesn't do them... It can. It can do them, don't get me wrong. But it doesn't really do them as low as the... The other TIE Fighter did. Oh yeah, this thing has guns too. I think all these things have guns. Well, let's... Oh, okay, that's cool. Although you can barely see anything out of them. I really wish there was like a self-destruct button on this thing. So that way you can see it explode. Like, say truth in movies, right? <laughs> because like I said from before, one explodes every like 10 seconds. Something like that. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, nosedive here. Alright, come on. Oh wait, crash into the side of the cliff. Or like, scrape it. Like, that's a that was a cool scene from The Force Awakens when the TIE Fire like, scrapes against the terrain. And I'm not going to name it the exact scene because like there's a a ton of them now come on come on oh okay that kind of looks like it okay now we're spinning out of control this is not good Okay, I am getting really dizzy. It didn't explode. Well, luckily we have a special tool for that. Whoa! Hold on. Stay true to the boot. Oh. Wait, is it actually smoking? That's kind of cool. There we go. Stay true to the movies. All right, next creation. <laughs> Okay, we have a weird one up next. Uh, this is... Hold on, um... This is the... CIV A1 Deluxe Floater. Now, I don't really remember this from the movies, although... From the description, it says that it was... In the Clone Wars, so... I'm guessing it's from, like, the TV series, and... I think it's one of the flying cars from Coruscant. I think. I don't know. Oh, it's got landing gear. That's kind of cool. Um, let's see. What can we do? Okay, so that's steering. Uh, um, I don't think this works really well. Um, hold on. I need to figure out the controls for this. So... Enable thruster. Enable thruster. Um... No, I guess that's a, that is how you do it. So you do that. And you do this. You do that. Do this. Do that. This is a weird thing to fly. Oh, I'm going to god mode this. Okay, that just happened. Alright, invert steering. Come on. Yeah, this is a weird thing. I don't know exactly know how to fly. I'm trying to get to the cliff. Just so that way we can at least fly it. Pretty sure there is an an actual way to fly this thing. I'm pretty sure it is supposed to hover. It needs to get up to speed, though. Wait. I might get something here. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to teleport this thing. Uh, 
Okay, I was told. I maybe I was wrong. I'm pretty sure this thing isn't is meant to uh, stay on the ground and just scrape. Okay, <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. Yeah, this thing reminds me of like a '50s car. The front. Of it. Oh, okay. At least this is like the first one that I ex decided to explore on its own. But yeah, this thing looks like a '50s car, kind of. At least in the front, it does. But oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna move on to the next one in that case. Okay, so here we have a lot familiar one. This is a the X34 or Luke Skywalker's land speeder. And yeah, this one it definitely stays true to the move. Okay, that just happened. <laughs> Hold on, um, inverse steering. Wait, does this thing have wheels? I don't think it... Wait, why does it have a motor in it? That's a little bit weird. Huh. Oh, okay. Apparently it likes to explode. And it also has guns, I noticed. Okay, no, they don't work. I thought it would be funny if they did. Yeah, I'm wondering why it does that. Maybe it's just to uh, keep... Like, have it hover. Okay, there we go. But yeah, this is the land speeder. As you can see. Yeah, it's 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 cool. Although these is, this is something that's meant to stay on the ground, I think, because of, like it's a land speeder. Although I'm pretty sure it's supposed to hover a lot better than compared to this. Yeah, it definitely is. All right, we're gonna ungod mode this. And, of course, now it doesn't want to explode, really. Alright, I'll make you explode. Why now you don't want to explode? I, that escapes me as to why you don't want to explode now. You wanted to a second ago. Come on! Okay, you know what? Yeah, let's do it like this, huh? There we go. And it's gone. Oh, wow. That thing had some speed behind it. Okay. Um, uh, next creation. I'm pretty sure it's in our land speeder, too. Okay, I thought I would go over this one next because it's literally the same exact vehicle, except it's a little. it looks a little bit more complete. It's not a sand spear. I think this is like the Coruscant version of it because I think I remember seeing this in the prequels, like in one of the, one of the like in the background. Oh, and apparently this one's prone to exploding too, so God mode Im immediately. But yeah, this is definitely a little bit faster. It's definitely got. It definitely has a little bit more power to it. I still don't understand what the legs are for. I think they're just to help it along. I need to keep it hovering. Oh wait, oh yeah, apparently I forgot to uh I forgot to wait, what the heck is going on here? This is a thing. Okay, what's uh on God mode this? Oh, there it goes. Okay, yeah. I just wanted to show that off real quick. Just because, why not? I'm going to remove this stuff just to prevent lag. But yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to move on to the next creation. Okay, it's time for another familiar creation. It's the Sandcrawler. And everyone knows what the Sandcrawler is. And I'm pretty sure the Sandcrawler is a little bit stuck. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, it's a sand crawler though. And this is cool. Like I like this. This is really cool. And like this is a perfect environment for it too. Because like this is mainly in Tatooine and this the K map is basically Tatooine. It literally looks like it. 
Oh yeah, look, it even has like the the background. It even has like the the back the desert background. So this is perfect. Okay, we're gonna stop this because I wanna Wait, I know that this thing opens. Hold on, does this open? Hold on. No, this does open. Hold on, I'm gonna get back into this. I'm gonna see if, uh... Wait, there is a switch. There we go. I knew there was a switch somewhere. Oh yeah, here you got, uh... C-3PO and R2. You have a Gronk droid. You have a, an old battle droid, it looks like, in our R2 unit. It looks like... I don't know what that is. And then another, uh... Protocol droid. And there's a motor. There's a... Way upstairs. I'm pretty sure this is... This is made morally for the Jawas. Which are the little creatures that, that drive this thing. Okay, but yeah. Uh... It doesn't look like that Bob is very well suited to, uh... Go up on the ramps. But yeah, here's the controls. It's got... Two big yokes. For controls. Don't ask me why. But yeah. That's the sand crawler. Okay, let's move on to the next creation. I'm gonna move that I'm gonna leave that out just for target practice, maybe in the future, but yeah. On to the next creation. Okay, here we have another land speeder. It's the V thirty five courier land speeder. I think that's what it's called at least. And it looks like this thing needs uh, a little bit of help. Yeah, it does. I don't know what this is from, honestly. Okay, apparently the cockpit can open. Okay, I'm gonna try and, uh... Oh yeah, there you go. Okay, it kinda, it kinda hovers. Yeah, there you go. Oh, oh, okay, that kinda scared me. <laughs> okay. I did expect that to happen, but yeah, uh, that's the the V thirty five Courier Landspeeder. I don't know what this is from. I'm pretty sure it's from Cor something from Coruscant, though, or something from the prequels, morally. But yeah, um, next creation. <laughs> okay, here we have something a little bit small and a little bit weird. Apparently, this is a. Uh, a rebel personal carrier and it's rolling on its own. Oh wait, that's why. But yeah, I think this is from uh, one of the originals. Yeah, it's I think it's a ladder for one of the crafts that it has. Hold on, what is this? What is this giant? I have no idea what that is actually. I think it's a ladder of some sort, but I don't know what. Like, I don't know what this would be for. Although, I don't know what the description said because I didn't take time into reading it. But yeah, I just wanted to show this off. I might leave this out again for maybe future target practice. But yeah, here we go. Next creation. I might read the description of that one, though. Just to see what the Larish wore. Okay, so next one. This is a Y-Wing. And I think it's to mix up the one from the Clone Wars because it's got the, the paint job from the ones in the series. And it also has, uh, like, the styling from the originals. So, let's go. Yeah, I thought there was, like, an A-Wing. But apparently, no, there isn't. Which uh, kind of stinks because the A-Wing is kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, this is uh, the Y-Wing, and from the movies, this is, a, this is a bomber. I'm wondering if it actually bombs stuff, though. It might. Although, I don't really know. I didn't read the instructions. Oh, wait, it can bomb stuff. Oh, okay, there's the cannons. Oh, yeah, of course it's got cannons.
Huh. That's a little bit weird. The bombs don't work. They should be working, though. I don't know why they're not. Oh, apparently five's a... Apparently five's a, uh... A, another, uh... Set of guns somewhere. Okay, anyways, uh, let's see what the cockpit view in... Okay, that's a, a gun view. Yeah, here's a cockpit view. It's a little bit cramped, but it's better than nothing. Wait, there's a sand crawler. Let's see if we can, uh... Wait, is that the sand crawler? Okay, never mind. That's not the sand crawler. Wait, where is the sand crawler? I actually don't know. Hold on, we're gonna. Okay, yeah, this thing is kind. This thing kind of sucks at steering. I'm not gonna lie. Well, it's a bomber, so actually, I'm not that surprised. Because again, it's a bomber. Uh, I don't think they bombers have really good turning radiuses in the first place. Where are you, sand crawler? There's a sand crawler. Although I don't think I'm going to be able to swoop in and try to bomb it. Also, because I don't think the bombs work. I don't know why. I don't know why they're not working. All right, come on, turn. Turn you big piece of metal. Did I seriously just call this thing a big piece of metal? I did. <gasps> Come on, turn. I think I'm going to need to use something else for this. Oh wait, maybe, maybe I spoke too soon. Hold on. No, I will destroy this thing. Oh, so close. Okay. Um. All right, you're not gonna you're not gonna destroy things. Fine, there you go. How do you like them apples? Okay, next. Oh, okay, secondary explosion and third explosion. All right, next creation. Okay, we are on the second to last creation here, and this is. I think you guys can recognize what this thing is, but I need to read the exact name of it. Hold on. Now, uh, where's the driver's seat? There he goes. It is the CR-90 Blockade Runner, or the Tantiv-4. And this is the the thing from the, the ship from the opening scene of A New Hope, obviously. You can tell. <laughs> Anyways, uh, and yeah, this was in a Star Wars mod and Kerbal Space Program. If you remember a couple days ago, I did a Star Wars mod for Kerbal Space Program. And this ship was part of the list. And I think we're going to hit that little... Yep, we did. <laughs> That's not my intent. Yeah, but this thing... Uh, this thing doesn't really... Can't really get off the ground. This thing is not really the fastest. Yeah, this thing is... Trying really hard. Okay, there it goes. Alright, come on. Get up. This thing is not really the fastest. I'm pretty sure this thing has guns. Well, guns of some sort. This thing does not like... Oh, gosh. This thing is hard to fly. This thing's like a boat. Come on. Pitch up. But this is still cool nonetheless. Come on. I really hope this dude makes more stuff in the future. I'm pretty sure he has like an AT-AT. -AT, like the walkers. And I'm pretty sure it's the one from the sequels. Okay, we're going down. Go up. Go up. Oh, boy. <laughs> like, you have no idea how hard this thing is. Uh-oh. Oh. 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 That cracked open like an egg, literally. Fudge, 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 fudge. Oh, there goes the cockpit. Is this thing not gonna?
Okay, I'm gonna just put put an end to this. Hold on, give me a minute. Oh, that was a nice explosion. Okay, but okay, there's the sand crawler. There, there's the wire wing. Let's tr put this thing back because I want to see if there's an interior. I don't think there is, but there's no harm in checking, right? Okay, no, there isn't an interior. I'm pretty sure there's like another one where it does have an interior. But yeah, time to move on to the last creation, and I saved the best for last, so let's get on with it. Oh yeah, I told you I saved the best for last. It's the Millennium Falcon, the one and only in all its glory. Yeah, it looks like it has a landing ramp. Something's moving in there. Hold on. What's moving? Oh, I think it's the gun. Okay. Oh, wait. Okay, you got the torpedo port. And what else? Yeah, I think that's it for that. Anyways, uh, let's try and fly it. It looks like it's the older one, like the one for the originals and not the latest movie. I kind of like the one from the latest movie better, honestly. Oh, but this thing is loud. This thing's really loud. Oh, yeah, of course, it's got the, the torpedoes. How do you uh, activate... Hold on, is there a passenger seat? There are. Oh, I don't know how to work the smaller guns. Hold on. It has ca they have cameras, so I'm, and I'm pretty sure they work. I just don't know how they how they do. But yeah, this is the Lion Falcon. This is cool. Oh, the camera is a little bit offset because it centers around the player. So yeah. And also, this thing. Oh wait, that's a little bit weird. I just now noticed this. Like everything centered around uh. Like the. The area where the driver sits, which makes this thing a little bit disorientating to fly. Alright, come on. But it's still cool nonetheless. Hold on, let's do some of the tricks that they did in the movies. Do 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 Oh wait, I can't do that. It's copyrighted. Darn it! <laughs> wait, I just noticed. Are the guns? Are the? Were the guns always like that? I thought they were centered. Wait, you you guys see that? I thought the guns weren't. I thought the guns were centered instead of offset like that. Huh. Very very interesting. That's a little bit weird, if you ask me. Okay, so, yeah. Hold on, I do want to take a look at the shadow, because I'm pretty sure the, the shadow of this thing looks awesome. The shape of this thing, like, they got the shape of this thing down. Like, it looks so accurate. Where's the shadow at? Oh, wait, there's the shadow. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, yes, that looks so cool. It looks so accurate. Oh, I think we're about to crash. Yep. Oh, and it ends in a fiery explosion. Oh, okay. Um, I still have that issue, apparently. I don't know why. I think it's from me pressing down the W keys a little bit too hard. Come on, go up. Okay, I want to try one more thing. I want to try and uh, take out the sand crawler. If I can find it. Because this is a big map. Oh, wait, there it is. Duh. I'm on. Oh, crud. I can't fly this thing in one of the camera angles. Alright, come on. But I'm surprised how well this thing flies, too, because it's like basically a giant frisbee. Oh, 
Okay, so that's where the guns come out of. Well, the torpedo cannons. Yeah, I don't know what exactly they do. They never really showed those guns in the movies, did they? Wait, then how would they know that the guns are there? Conspiracies. Oh, wait, there's the... The records of the lie wing. Oh, 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 oh. oh, crud. Yeah, I saw that coming from a while. Okay, you know what? I want to blow at least one of these things up, so... Wait, what? Oh, I was saying the wrong thing. Duh. This is the lazy way of doing things here. Really? Okay. There we go, finally! Urgh! Ram it! Ram it! Well, in the meantime, I guess we can uh, figure out. Whoops. Hold on. I want to figure out how you work the guns before we end this thing. Oh, wait, there we go. There's one of them. Oh, yeah, and of course they do have, uh, they do have guns, so I was right. So I'm guessing the same works for the, the bomb one. Okay, but that's going to do it for today's episode of, uh, of Brick Rigs. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.